Hello and welcome to Talking Corner. This is Gamers Corner's podcast. Today we're going to do Gamers Corner Reacts. And we're going to be reacting to Assassin's Creed's Valhalla. Boys, let's get this started. Well, oh, shit. Sure. <laughs> <Da, da, 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 da. laughs> so what do you guys know about Valhalla so far? That's going to be awesome. I know absolutely I know. nothing. All I know is an Assassin's Creed game. That's uh, a gameplay trailer, this one. I reckon the best era. That, that best era. Was... Yeah, it's, fucking, it's the brutal one, isn't it? It's where everything was brutal. Like, I so mean, clutch. Assassin's Creed's brutal in the beginning, but... I want to watch um, more roman yeah, kind of stuff. Vikings as well. It's going to be good. Anyway, let's do it. I'm excited. Let's do it. Work in progress. In Assassin's Creed Valhalla, you will relive the epic saga of the Viking invasion of England. You play as Eivor, a Viking from Norway, who will lead his or her battle-hardened warriors <laughs> across the North Sea to the British Isles. Eivor is looks good. by an ambitious goal. To build a thriving Norse settlement in a hostile land. For the good of our clan, it is time we go a Viking. Today we raid, but tomorrow we may build. England is a dark age ah, tangle of broken also. kingdoms and warring dynasties, yeah. a land of opportunity and riches. As you prowl England's rivers by longship, so it's you got may raid locations black, you spot on the shoreline. It does, yeah. Grab your ship and blow your yeah. horn to lead your raiding crew into battle. No, the old fire arrows. <laughs> you can fire arrow and like burn the, like the house and all the huts. Everything's sort of like reactionary to different things. Because you can never really properly interact with things, could you? It's just climbing. Your crew will assist yeah. you in all your raids. And you can revive your army as well. Do you reckon you kind of level them up as you go with you and you try and keep them alive? Yeah, I reckon you probably do. I wonder if you're going to bring co-op into this then. You know, so you, like, we could all jump in and raid a... At the heart of That'd be awesome. ...the Alliance map. It will serve as a record of the allies you have made and a guide for future opportunities. Yeah, look at that. Essex. The Viking Age was a time of warriors Essex. and legends. Essex. In Valhalla, you will find the largest variety of enemies ever assembled in an Assassin's Creed game. Every archetype offers a unique challenge. The good thing here too, Some I read about coordinate here with their roles. allies for special attacks. So you got like different bosses, while others different will use nearby to objects fight, to their advantage, each one like sort of including the bodies of fallen warriors. You know, yeah. Assassin's Creed yeah. usually yeah. was a lot very typical. You have to <laughs> find and exploit your opponent. Yeah, it's usually like parry, bang. Yeah, we're gonna say it's parry and counter. Take the fight to your force oh. with well, a host of brutal new combat abilities. Snare them with a Viking heart. That was boss. Incapacitate them with the new stun system to keep them at a distance so sweet. or finish them off. Dual wield any two weapons you wish. We all need a deadly combination of attacks. Yes, the king. That looks a lot like destiny. Customize your fighting style as you see. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, did you see the way that you put all your armor and your weapons on them? That's like a destiny layer. All combinations of weapons are available to dual wield, including two shields. Two shields. Not all situations. Is that fucking beheading? Is that? There's the whole. Viking must find a way to adapt. Going back into the classic. As Eivor is not welcome in England, you may need to outsmart your enemies. Avoiding unwanted attention in towns and bustling cities. I still don't know whether I would have preferred Use to be a different and cloak to blend with crowds away from and slip past maybe. watchful eyes. Yeah. An unseen like hunter among the like. people. I don't know. I feel like Assassin's Creed at least you kind of got the mechanics down pat, kind of. From capital cities and yeah. villages. To but then again, it's been pretty disappointing. The, of England. the last ten. Is to keeping yourself sharp. <laughs> yeah. You must feed off the land if you hope to endure. That's Black Flag. Hunt and forage like to yeah. and fortify your equipment. 
Life is triggered. The more you explore, All right, I'm the buying more the game. secrets you will reveal. Yeah. I'm buying it the day it comes out. Did he just use an eagle? Yeah, they used the eagle in um, Odyssey. But as you push deeper into this England, is gonna be the enemy will push back. Gonna, like, if it in a series of climactic moments, Assassin's Creed Valhalla oh, will feature cool. massive assaults cool. in which you will lead Eivor's army into battle. I love this bit. This little bit sounds awesome to me. It reminds me of like a Total War game, but like you're the hero. Assassin's Creed Valhalla will transport you to wondrous and haunted lands inspired by Norse myths and England's pagan roots. It will challenge and surprise with unforgettable characters, thrilling triumphs and tragic losses, giving you the chance to live your own Viking saga. It's like Mortal Kombat shit right there. Players two characters, do either her or the, the, the guy. Yeah, same as um, that. That's what happened with Odyssey as well. You play as the male or the female. Right, right. Because I know Syndicate was based around twins. Brother and sister, weren't they? I actually like Syndicate, to be honest. I loved it. It got a bit of a hate, but I liked it. I um, I bought all the extension packs for it as well. You know, Jack the Ripper one and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I had to go and kill Jack the Ripper and then you played as him and you was like twice as fucking agile as an actual assassin was. It was crazy. <laughs> that, game, that game looks so great. So what do you that think? really good, that. I like that. Yeah. Well, I, think, I think graphically it's just going to be out of this world. It'll be next gen. It's coming out around that same time as next gen consoles. I just got to wait for that. It, it's not going to be on... Do you think it could be a like an exclusive? Nah, it's gonna be everywhere. Content? It's gonna be everywhere, I think. Yeah, nah, Ubisoft don't do it. Yeah, it'll be. I think what they're well, doing, what they seem to be doing, it'll be on PS4 and PS5. And if it's anything like what the Xbox seems to be doing, they bring out like two versions, one for each, but then you get like the upgraded version when you have like the upgraded console sort of thing. You know what I mean? It's almost yeah. like a, an additional download to get the actual high res version sort of thing. Yeah, I think it'll still run really well on PS4 and Xbox One. Anyway, yeah. but um, obviously going to be better. We're we'll interested to see when it comes out on PC. Hopefully, launch as well. If not, we'll just buy it on Xbox, I guess. Now, do you think it's going to be the same setup as in like you're going to be in different characters or different times? You know, don't they go back and forth to like? They've kind of in the last few games, anyway. They've kind of present day has kind of taken the back foot while well, when Desmond Miles was the main character in the first few Assassin's Creed games um the fucking yeah he would go back every now and then and yeah and now it's kind of just all about the past um because when they killed off Desmond spoilers uh, for 15 years ago <laughs> it was um it was like huge yeah, was, and they kind of shot themselves in the foot there that's where I feel like where they went wrong when they killed him I off. remember on one of the Assassin's Creed when you was you come out of the machine and then you had to run around like the place that you was in. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and it was. It that was, was Assassin's crazy, Creed too. Yeah. Yeah. And jump back into the machine and shit. Yeah, and then go back as an assassin. It was like future, present. Sort of. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're, you were learning how to get into that, right? Like you were yeah. learning how to adapt to it or to. Well, you had to become an it. assassin outside the machine. Yeah. So you'd get the there was a thing called the bleeding effect, um, which you would take on the abilities that you've learnt when you're in the Animus. So then Desmond would be able to do the same kind of shit um, as like Altair and Ezio um, did, which is pretty cool. But now it's kind of not really like that at all. Yeah, now it's more it's just the game. Around the original assassins, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So do you, think, do you think the main character, this female, you're going to be that character the entire way through? Yeah, I think, by the way it looked there, it looks like your name's going to be, was it Evor or Ezor or something? And it doesn't matter if you're female or male, you're going to be Ezor. And you just get to choose, okay. and it'll be the same yeah, thing. Yeah, you, you can choose between the two, but you'll probably be maybe stuck with them through the whole story. Yeah, you, you would be. Start. Yeah. So in Odyssey, you 
could either be um, so you're a Spartan and so at the start they chucked one off the cliff if you chose male the female got chucked off the cliff if you chose female the male got, but then they would be but they would survive and they would end up being the main antagonist kind of thing um, yeah, yeah. so if you started as the male then the female would be the bad guy and if you're the female then the male would be the bad guy and yeah, stuff like yeah. that so I feel like I don't know if that'll be the same thing in Valhalla but so it didn't really matter who you chose it's still the same story except obviously the opposite um, so I imagine then it probably wouldn't be some type of multiplayer because unless it, it could be. be a male and female because you can't have the same female running around the same male yeah. character running around could you well you could have certain aspects i think like um when you're doing those raids and assaults you could have that as a multiplayer only thing which wouldn't affect your main story it would be like you could send you know you team up so i could team up you and we'd have our own armies and it'd be like a separate thing just like a multiplayer kind of thing yeah. i think that'd be really cool um Can you imagine an assassin's creed vr <laughs> 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 Sitting there going, throwing knives and shit. A bunch, of, a bunch of assassins running around killing each other. That'd be pretty cool. Well, it's not, it's not, you can't put it out of the option, can you, with the battle royales that are coming out, not to mention the way that Star Wars was. You know, some of the characters only had a lightsaber. So it's like, you know, some of the heroes only had a lightsaber. You didn't have a gun to run around with, did you? So you had to sort of. Do you know what I mean? You could, you could imagine having like 100 people in that lobby and all just running around with stealth players and shit like that. Yeah. Like, do you actually remember the online? Assassin's Creed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, think yeah, it was the in... Online Assassin's Creed, do you remember what you had to do in that? Not really, I remember it was there. I think it was Assassin's Creed you had, 3? You had to like, Brotherhood? It, it was not like, there was no textures, so there was no... There was no houses or anything, it was just blocks. And you had to like blend in with people and stuff like that and then somebody had come running past and you needed to kill him but, you, but sometimes they walked past you and you didn't even know it were them yeah yeah and it's like it, it, it was just crazy it was crazy it was, it, was, it was really fun to start off with man i really it was, enjoyed yeah. it yeah. it's one of my favorite franchises early early on it's a bit like um what's that call of duty mode where you can change what you turn into and they've got to hunt you oh, down prop, prop hunt yeah it's a bit like prop hunt you know what i mean like you sort of run off and you're going to blend in with a group of people and they're trying to find you yeah and i think you, you, know, you got penalized didn't you all these people. i think you got penalized if you killed a civilian as well so like if, yeah, if yeah. i tried to take you out and it was a civilian it was like huh. a penalization against me yeah, you'd be sitting so you there, had like, to be yeah. on the bench. All of a sudden, you fucking murdered the guy right next to you. You're like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, okay, yeah. didn't see a thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but that's yeah. what you do as well. You could use the whistle so you'd like blend in. Like, there'd be a group of them whistling and that, and you could whistle with them. <laughs> yeah. Shit like that. Like, it, it was proper crazy. I think what would be cool with this game, if they're talking about being able to do raids, imagine if you had, like, squads of 10 right and you actually actually go and take over somebody else's territory within a game you know pretty cool their, you know yeah almost like factions it's like, probably oh, already um, been announced and we haven't even known a bit like <laughs> old school san andreas do you remember when you used to take over the areas on san andreas and they'd go green when yeah you them i'd make all i'd try and get everything green like yeah, a I did grocery well, yeah. for life <laughs> but yeah i can imagine it doing that because they done that on um on a few of the assassin's creed actually you take over that that, that part of the town don't you yeah black flag um was like that too safe so to speak so what do you think it's going to be um, critically acclaimed or do you think people are going to hate it or you know, it's too I much hype? Up out of the gate, mate. They've, they've picked the, the best hype era, I think. Like, a lot of people Perfect time. That Norse, yeah. that Norse, that Nordic era, the whole um, Viking versus Britain type fucking era. A lot of people love it. So I think it'll get a lot of hype on that place alone. Yeah. Right. So, I'm looking forward to it. So am I. And like I said, I haven't played one since Black Flag, so I just haven't grabbed it. I don't know what the last one was. Odyssey. Obviously, I don't, I don't play them. I don't it's know the, the Greek graphics one. of it. I do remember some of the previous ones that I used to play that the graphics in this look so much better than anything I used to play. Just the yeah. field of view, the way that almost like Call of Duty's 
battle royale. You know, when you go into it, you actually run the length of a stadium. You know, you feel the depth in the game of how far you're going. And I think that they've incorporated that into this too. From just from watching the gameplay, that's what I picked up on. You feel more immersed into the game itself. That was really good. Even if I'm wrong, I believe the next gen consoles are going to be day tracing, aren't they? Yeah, I think not so. sure. So yeah. it's not a, yeah, it's not actually pixels. It's like triangles. When I watched the Zero Dawn, Horizon Zero Dawn, PlayStation Four release, mm -hmm. they were talking about it being ray tracing and all these triangles and how it's going to make it a better picture for you and stuff. So can you imagine them graphics on ray tracing software? Like, uh, That'd be it's, awesome. It's just going to be it's going to be next to none. Yeah, exactly. All right, guys. Well, hope you enjoyed our um, Valhalla React trailer video. Um, I think it's going to be really awesome.